everyone, Stacy here from the King Family Vlogs and we have had a great summer so far. We have gone on vacation to the beach, we've spent time golfing and by the pool, but our last couple weeks, ever since the 4th of July, while we've still been doing a little bit of those fun things, we have been working very hard. We are rearranging four rooms in our house. Yeah, I know, I know you will always be the Yes, I know, I might be considered crazy. Um, but we are so excited to share them with you. Um, one of the things that we did was flip-flop our family room and our toy room. And our toy room is what we are working on today. Ryan and I wanted a living room that was an adult living room. We wanted it to be our place, our sanctuary, free of toys, um, kind of with more of an adult vibe, more than a family vibe, and it is coming together so well. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. I am only waiting on one set of lights to come in, and then I will be able to do the big reveal. They should be here between August 5th and 7th. So if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and also hit that notification bell, because that will let you know when our big adult living room reveal will be live. So today what we're doing is we are gonna talk about how to decorate bookshelves, built-ins, entertainment center, you know, just anything with all those shelves, it can be so tricky. So I want to share with you all of my tips today. So the first thing that we did was repaint our entertainment center. Ryan actually built this entertainment center by hand about five years ago. It is completely homemade, built by his hands, and it is amazing. So we started off in our old house and it was white and we just kept it white when we moved in here. Um, I'll go ahead and insert some clips so you can see what it looked like before. The color is, the color we painted it was Hell Navy. And I'm not sure if that's a Benjamin Moore color or a Sherwin-Williams color, but it is Sherwin-Williams paint. And we got a fabulous paint, I cannot remember which one it is, but just tell them that you are painting furniture. And it is a semi-gloss furniture paint, and it is made so we didn't have to put any sort of poly or any sort of protecting coating on it. And we love how the finish turned out. The next thing that we did was attach, um, we changed the knobs out. They used to be just wooden knobs that we had painted white to match, but we actually switched out to these gold knobs from Home Depot. They were about $6 a piece, and we love the way that it looks. We feel like it looks so rich. It looks like something that should have cost thousands and thousands of dollars now that it's redone, and we are just so happy with how it turned out. So before we get into the actual tips for decorating, the last thing I wanted to kind of update you on is kind of the fill that we're going for this room. Like I said, we want this to be an adult room. It's kind of our sanctuary, our interest, our likes are in here. So I'll go more into like what we were kind of going for in our in the big reveal video, but just think adult, kind of, we want it to be a place where people can, our friends can come over and watch football, play games, have adult beverages, and just relax in a more adult space. So that's what we've done so far. Let's get into decorating. So obviously the first thing I do when I'm decorating is check out Pinterest just like everyone else to get some ideas. Next I go around and shop my home and I group everything into piles. So this is just a combination of different stuff that I have found from around my home and from random shelves, closets, just any place that I can find and I group them into piles. Now it is time to decorate the shelf. The only thing that I have on our entertainment system so far is my salt rock lamp, my diffuser, and then a little basket with some random essential oils in it. 
The very first thing I like to start with are my statement pieces. So in this case, it was the bigger pieces and my blue and white vases. These I just pick up at different um, estate sales. My mom normally finds them for me because she knows I love them. A big tip when you are working with bookshelves or built-ins or entertainment centers is to work in angles. Your eye is drawn to angles. So for example, you want to put your statement pieces that are kind of similar at an angle from each other. The next thing I'm doing is kind of filling in all of the big pieces on the shelf. After the big pieces, I started with greenery. And again, I know I'm gonna say it 50 million times, you can see I'm working in angles, putting them on opposite sides of the shelf and on varying heights um, on the different sides. Don't forget random things can be used as decor too. Since this is an adult kind of lounge game room, I actually went and found two kind of more adult games and used them as decor as well. After I have all my big pieces filled in, I like to go ahead and start filling in my books because they take up a lot of space as well. Um, these books have become very popular because of Joanna Gaines and you can find them at different stores, but people like to mark them up so much now. So again, if you can go to garage sales or estate sales, you can find these books for so cheap. And when you're putting them on your shelf, just, you know, turn some spines out, some spines in, vary your heights and your angles. Um, and that will give you an overall more cohesive and kind of like it was put up there as an accident. It was just thrown up there over the years and that's how it turned out look. When you get these books, they are going to come in kind of varying conditions. So like I said, how you turn some spines in and some spines out, I try to work with the books who have the color scheme of the room I like, I turn them out, and any ones that have like a damaged spine, those are the ones I tend to turn in. Now it's time to start um, putting some of our smaller pieces in. And you can see this is kind of where I start. These books, they kept tending to fall over. So I went and found a candle and I knew that was the perfect place to put it because it kind of works as a bookend. The next shelf that I'm going to work on is the shelf that is um, second from the top on the right side. And I think that built-ins look better when you have some shelves that are not completely filled in, that there's some blank space to draw your eye. You can see on the left side, um, on the third shelf down, there's the shelf with the basket, and it kind of has a lot of blank shelf, blank space. So I knew that in working with the angles that I wanted this second shelf on the right to not be as full either. So that's why I kind of clustered everything together in the middle. After that, now I'm just going through and filling in the bare spaces with all of my extra stuff, just trying to work with varying textures and varying heights. And here we go, here are my finished bookshelves. So I hope this video isn't super frustrating because I can't really say where any of this stuff was from or link anything for you guys because it's all just old and from my house things I've pulled from different places or things that I picked up at estate sales, thrift stores, and the likes. Um, but I think it does a good job of showing you that you can decorate with what you have. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. 
I know a lot of people might be wondering why there's a random cigarette box. It is actually autographed by one of Ryan's favorite golfers. We were at a golf tournament and the golfer threw it down and then Ryan picked it up and he autographed it for him. So it's autographed by John Daly. That's why it is up there in our adult room. I hope you enjoyed decorating with me. Make sure to come back later this week for the big final reveal. Bye guys.